Welcome to Torbay Hospital. We know that having an operation can be an anxious time. For that reason, we have created this film to explain about the processes, places and people who will be involved in your care. This film will provide details about your operation, but if you have any more questions or concerns, you can find contact details on your appointment letter. There are some simple things you can do before you arrive at hospital, which will ensure your stay is as comfortable as possible. Ensure you have arranged for someone to collect you after your surgery to take you home. And that you have someone to stay with you overnight the night of your operation. Pack a bag with slippers and dressing gown. Ensure you bring any routine medication. Bring a book or magazine. Ensure you have some essential groceries, such as bread and milk, ready for your return. If you are unwell in the days immediately before your operation, with sickness and diarrhoea or a cold or flu, please let us know. By looking after yourself before your operation and eating healthily, you will give yourself the best chances of a quick and full recovery. On the day before your operation, you may be asked to drink three cartons of a special nutritional supplement called Fresubin. This will help your body recover more effectively. Smoking makes it harder for the body to heal and increases the chances of complications after surgery. Giving up smoking will help your recovery and your general health. Torbay Hospital is a no smoking site, which means that smoking is banned inside and outside all areas. On the day of your surgery, Follow the guidance found within your appointment letter, which contains some useful do's and don'ts. On arrival at the hospital, please come to the day surgery unit. Once you have been signed in, you will be asked to take a seat until a nurse comes to collect you. The nurse will check your details and make sure you are ready for surgery. You will be seen by the anaesthetist who will talk you through the anaesthetic process. They will discuss the different types of anaesthetic which are used, depending on the type of surgery the anaesthetist's assessment and your own preference. Then you will be seen by your surgeon who will discuss the details of the operation and answer any of your questions. Once you have spoken to your surgeon and anaesthetist, you may have some time to wait before your operation. You will be shown to the sitting room where there's a television. We advise you to bring a book or magazine to fill the time. About half an hour before your operation, you will be taken to a private room where you can get changed into a theatre gown. Once changed, you will be shown into a male or female waiting room until you are ready to go to theatre. Once it is time for your operation, a nurse will check all your paperwork once more and will then walk with you down to the operating theatre. You will be greeted in the anaesthetic room by your anaesthetist and operating department practitioner who will assist the anaesthetist in caring for you. They will attach equipment which monitors your heart and breathing during your operation. They will also once again check your details so the entire team know all about you and your planned procedure. You may have been asked these questions already, but they are ultimately for your safety. The anaesthetist will place a cannula in a vein in the back of your hand. You may be given some oxygen to breathe and the anaesthetic medication will be administered. After your operation, you will be taken immediately to our recovery ward. This is where you will awaken from your anaesthetic. You will stay here until you are completely awake and comfortable. You will have a nurse caring for you and providing appropriate medication for pain relief. Once you are wide awake and comfortable, you will be taken to our secondary recovery area. You will be given something to eat and drink. Over the next hour or two, the nurses will be encouraging you to get dressed and prepare to return home. Once you are comfortable and you are able to mobilise safely, you will be allowed to go home. A nurse will go through details with you, including what you should or should not do after your surgery, whether you have a further appointment with your surgeon, and if so, how it will be arranged. They will also give you any medication you may need to control post-operative pain and details of when to take this. Once someone has arrived to escort you home, you are free to leave. The day after your operation, you will receive a telephone call from one of the day surgery nursing staff. This call is to check up that everything is going well and to answer any queries you may have. We also collect some data from you for our own audit purposes 
as we're continually trying to improve the service we offer to our patients. We hope you found this film useful and we wish you all the best for your operation and a speedy recovery.